All right, the other big issue as we talk about the cleanup is restoring power, getting electricity back on. Uh, that's what's going on right now behind me. You can see in that cherry picker for one, you got a guy that's going up there. He's going to work on that power line. You got another one that's got a crane where they put that other power pole in there. So they're dealing with a lot trying to get electricity restored right now in this area. Officials say, though, the lack of power actually led to a couple of house fires. One of them in Layton, where authorities say a family built a fire in a wood-burning stove and then left the house. Well, that fire caught Halloween decorations on fire, which then spread throughout the home. Firefighters say yet another home in Clearfield was set on fire by a faulty generator. So you come see, you can see some of the side effects as a result of this tornado and people who are lacking power trying to make their, uh, their own heat. Uh, as the temperatures have dropped as well. Now, other towns are also cleaning up from the violent weather that we received here throughout the state of Utah. And for a moment this morning in Utah County, it actually looked as if another twister was starting to form and being put together. Central Utah Special Sam Penrod continues our team coverage now in Lehigh. Sam? The funnel cloud that was over Utah Lake about 7.30 this morning never touched down, but the tornado that swept through a narrow stretch of Panguitch last night about 25 yards wide has been classified by the National Weather Service as an F1 with wind speeds of 110 miles per hour. Fortunately, no one was hurt. To have one actually land in town and, you know, and to bingo right here on the good old Yardley Insurance, it's... It's almost surreal. John Yardley has lived in Panguitch nearly all of his life and never expected his insurance would cover damage from a tornado. No one really believes in insurance until they have to use it, so. <laughs> the tornado hit about 7 o'clock last night. Winds reached 110 miles per hour, causing damage on the ground for nearly three quarters of a mile in a narrow 150 foot wide stretch. And even though his 4,000 square foot building is without a roof, Community support is helping his third generation insurance agency stay in business. We had over 100 people down here last night in the dark and rain just helping us move our filing cabinets and the neighboring community sent uh, their employees, dump trucks, backhoes. Everybody just rallied together in, in a little community like this. Considering the twister could have hit the neighboring convenience store or the cafe across the street, Yardley says it was okay the tornado hit his building which was empty at the time. We found some of our memorabilia uh, down in the next street and untouched. You know, that's the weird thing. But uh, it pretty well touched down here and wiped us out for the time being. But honestly, we feel mighty blessed. Could have been worse. The Yardleys expect an insurance adjuster to assess the damage tomorrow. In the meantime, they plan to be open for business on Monday in the home where the business started back in 1951. Sam Hunrod, KSL 5 News. Sam, thank you very much. Now, a lot of